Hey and welcome to video number three. In this specific video, you're going to learn things to avoid and things to be aware of in terms of Pinterest. Now the purpose of this exercise is to help you start off with the right foot forward. One of the things that you want to avoid doing is to pin all of your contents on one board. Pinning too many topics on one board is very annoying to users and will lower your company reputation. And this is simply because each board should be very, very specific. If it is too broad, then you will begin, you won't really attract a specific type of person. And we'll get more into trying to figure out that specific type of person and how to cater to that specific type of person in the future videos. But for now, definitely don't want to pin all the content to one board. So keep it simple. One board equals one very, very, very specific topic. In fact, the more specific the topic is, the better. You might attract less people, but you're going to attract targeted people. So quality over quantity here. So pin images and videos pertaining to that one specific topic and create more boards for different topics. So what I'd probably recommend that you do is create a list of specific topics and then if those topics can be broken down then try creating like a, a tree map. You know you've got your tree up here and it branches off into other different topics and those topics can branch off to other different topics. So if you can do that first, then when you create your boards, it'll actually be easier to set everything up and it'll be also be more organized as well. Another thing is not using Pinterest features. You try to use all of the Pinterest features that they give you using most of their features will allow you to really make use of just about everything that they have provided. It's easy to try to do the bare minimum. Don't do the bare minimum. Focus that one thing at a time. Once you're done, move on to the next and move on to the next. Don't think about, okay, I've got to do this. I got to do that. I've got to do that. That kind of mindset will, overwhelm you. So think one step at a time. So Pinterest offers tools like pin it button, pin it feature, which allows you to pin website content. You definitely want to use that and make sure you use the other features. So that's kind of common sense. Pinning mediocre content. While this is pretty common sense, it's a common mistake that one makes. And it's not because you're necessarily trying to provide mediocre content. A lot of times it's simply because you're excited, you can't wait to hop on to Pinterest, and you begin to just put out as much content as possible. Think quality over quantity. Because people are going to judge you by what you pin and what kind of board you create. One board is better than 10 mediocre boards, and 10 pins is better than 100 mediocre pins. Your reputation is on the line, so make sure you put out quality content. And if you can, create an account for only that one specific niche. Another thing to avoid is having too much text in your image or in your video. Now, obviously, the video might have words, but you just don't want to be too wordy simply because Pinterest audience, the majority of them are artsy. They're creative. So they like crafts. They like hobbies. They like to find ways or to find shortcuts or household items, cool different ways. So Pinterest is very, very visual, if you've noticed. They're all about images and they're all about videos. So stick with images and videos and within the images and videos, you might find, you know, pictures with text on it, but don't be too wordy. Don't try to jam too much text 
into an image. Otherwise, it's just going to overwhelm people. People are going to see it and they're just going to think, okay, I don't really need to look on that. So try to avoid that. And kind of like how I talked about briefly, quit trying to sell directly. Just like any other social media site, you cannot sell directly on Pinterest. It's all about the fun, fun experience. No one likes to be sold to, and that's a given. I'm sure you don't like to be sold to as well. But the way people sell to you on social media sites is about the experience. People get on there, for example, people get on Pinterest to learn, to have fun, to get away from their busy, stressful life, to find interesting things so that they can learn and feel inspired. So the formula is give first, capture the interest, and then sell later. If you can give first and capture interest second, you create a following of people who value your advice, they value what you put out, and the law of reciprocation is basically they will want to give back to you eventually and you can sell to them later down the road or they will do their research that where they will eventually purchase something from you. Another thing is to avoid direct self-promotion. So the same goes for images and videos that you pin. The images and videos that you pin should not be images of your product, your product, your videos about your product, promotional videos, and things like that. And try to avoid the buy this, buy that, fill in your email address type of stuff. They do not want that. Unless it's a video that's a funny, it's, it can be a viral video that's funny, that's inspiring, that makes them happy, makes them laugh, and so forth. If that's the type of video and your product is being indirectly promoted with these angles, then that would be okay. But just try to avoid self-promotion as much as possible. Think indirectly. We're not a salesman. We're not a car salesman either. We're not trying to say buy, 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 buy. We are selling by doing it indirectly. Another thing, just to, so that you're aware of Pinterest, did you know that if you're an affiliate for, let's say, Amazon, Pinterest actually embeds their affiliate code into your affiliate code? Now, some of you might be seeing that as commission theft or anything like that. Obviously, Pinterest owns Pinterest, so they can do anything they want. But this is not really a publicized thing. And this is something that's good to know because if you do promote something on Amazon, you might want to either use a redirect or send them to a page that eventually redirects them. So that's just something to be aware of because Pinterest partnered with a company called skimlinks.com. And they scan all of the links on their site and they embed their affiliate link into it. So in other words, they get the commission, not you. So if you do promote it, use a redirect or try to capture the leads first and then promote the affiliate products. So that's just something to think about and something that you should be aware of in terms of trying to promote affiliate products and so forth on Pinterest. Here are some things that you should do. You should become a thought leader and you should try to inspire people through your boards because if you can inspire them, and I, I know I talk about this time and time again, but that's really how you sell. So you can sell indirectly by giving first, making people laugh, inspiring people, showing people how your products can be used in their daily lives without having to sell. For example, funny ways of showing your product, there's a product out there that, of this blender company that blends just about anything. They'll blend computer parts, they'll blend things that you should not really blend normally. So you make people laugh, but you're not really promoting that product. 
You're doing it indirectly. Another way to sell is to let others brag about you. Just don't brag about yourself. And that's just a better way to promote your business.